During the night of the 6th and 7th of July 2007, a researcher named Winston Keach placed a series of cameras on the hill above the East Field near Silbury Hill, an area in the south of England which has always been popular for the crop circle phenomenon. Other researchers joined Mr Keach. Uh, and at about 1.30 a.m. we went along to Knapp Hill. Uh, arriving there, we met up with the cameraman that I'd met earlier in the day in the cafe and he had a set of cameras with him on top of the hill and he explained to me that he had some more cameras set up in his vehicle which he'd pulled through and parked on the hill overlooking Eastfield as well. When I got there he told me that the two ca cameras that were in the car were infrared and visible light capabilities and very sensitive. Also the cameras he had were on the hill with him was a still camera which had a long exposure, an image enhancing device and also um, a, another um, very light sensitive camera. He showed us a scan of the field with the image enhancer and we could see clearly at that time about 1.35 that there were no formations in the field of Eastfield or the surrounding fields next to him. And then just after three there was a big white flash of light that completely encompassed the landscape. Uh, that reminded Wynne that he needed to go down to his vehicle and change the tape with tapes over. So he went down to the vehicle, changed the tapes and came back. And then just, just as some light creeped in, just as some clouds must have moved away, there was a very imperceptible shadow that we could see on his field. So I asked Wynne to look through his um, camera on the hill. Uh, he opened the viewfinder and looked through it and then said to us, you better get up and look at this. And it was at that point, which was about quarter to four in the morning, that we'd, uh, we discovered there was a very significant formation in his field. On later analysis of the footage that was uh, taken in the car, there were two, two cameras running constantly all night from about 11 o'clock until five o'clock. So it completely uh, covers the, the field. If any light would have been in that field, it would have been detected. And we've got cars and vehicles driving past at various times that are, that are all logged and the times of them are logged. So we know that the tapes are running for that, that period of time. There's about 16 hours of footage in total. Nobody could have been doing this formation. Um, if, they would, if there would have been one two hundredth of a candle light, of, of light in that field, these cameras would have picked it up and plus I feel that we would have seen it from the hill as well because we were constantly make it, maintaining an observation down on this field. Um, quite apart from the logistical um, aspect of making the formation like this, the complexity, the size of the formation, the fact that the circles are ovals so that they look circular from the air. However, there is more to be surprised about. When they watch the recorded tapes, Gary King and the others realised that the cameras had caught the beam of light that reminded Wynne to change the tape. Uh, when, he analy when we analysed those tapes, we found that um, the first visible signs um, of the formation through the lenses of those cameras was actually at 3.20 a.m. and that the light flash that was picked up on the um, end of the first tape registered for three and a half milliseconds as an EM pulse, which is very similar to a bolt of lightning. And it was seven minutes after that, that at 3.20, that first signs of the formation were picked up by the cameras in the car. But we again didn't see them until about 20 minutes after that. As far as I know, uh, this is the only time that anything like this where continuous footage, continuous tapes have been running all night and captured the field and eliminated any evidence of anybody being in there with any measure, laser, laser alignment measurement devices or, or lights of any kind. As far as I know, this is, this is the best footage and comprehens most comprehensive footage available um, of, of when a crop circle takes. A crop circle appeared in the space of one night. An incredible event caught by Winston Keach's cameras and witnessed by Gary King and Paula. Finally, this is the definite proof that crop circles have an alien origin. What happened in East Field on July the 7th, 2007 is bound to be remembered as one of the most significant events since the beginning of the phenomenon in the 70s. The message coming from the ancient Mayas and modern crop circles appears to be the same. A change of conscience is absolutely necessary as never before in human history. A message of warning and hope coming from a past whose importance is hardly being recognized. And this is what the creators of the pictograms did, whether human or alien. They amplified the message coming from the cultures of the past, such as the Mayas, through a fascinating symbolism, beautifully engraved on the wheat fields of England. <laughs>